Hi and welcome to this DCP work tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a lens flare to a video clip using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip. I downloaded that video clip from Pixabay. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and we'll drag and drop this video clip onto the timeline here. Okay so with this video clip we can scrub through the timeline and as we scrub through the timeline we'll see the sun start to shine and we can actually see a lens flare here already on this video clip but I want to add an additional lens flare to this particular video clip so it will make sense that we add the lens flare as and when the sunshine comes out from behind the scene here behind the mountains and it's hitting the camera lens and that's typically where you're going to see the lens flare okay so let's make sure the video clip is selected it will turn yellow when it's selected and we'll go over to effects and in effects we're going to select lens flare when we click on there we can click the apply effect and when we click apply effect <clears throat> we can change the settings in here to add the lens flare so we can choose different types of lens flares and you can we can change the position we can actually animate this lens flare and we can decide when we want to show it and when we don't want to show it so let's say for example as the the sunlight gets to this sort of position that's where we want to show the lens flare so what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe here let's just add a keyframe and we're going to choose this particular lens flare we can change them from here so we can set them to different types of lens flares there's different types of camera lenses and they'll give different types of effects i think um probably this 35 millimeter is pretty good and this one's quite nice as well the 105 millimeter one right so maybe we'll use this one here this particular lens flare and what we'll do is move to the timeline and add a keyframe right so we want to add a keyframe at this particular position here let's move across the timeline to the beginning of this video clip and what we'll do is click on intensity here and we'll add a keyframe here as well and we're going to set the um, value of that keyframe to zero so as we move across the timeline this lens flare is going to start to appear right but we don't want it to appear straight away we kind of want it to appear at this position here so what we want to do is go back a few keyframes only a few of them and we're going to set another keyframe here and set the intensity to zero so between these first set of keyframes until it gets to this one it's all going to be valued at zero then all of a sudden this lens flare will start to appear and we can just select um, the keyframes and adjust them if you want to adjust them you can just click on them and drag them to increase or decrease where that particular lens flare appears right so i want it to kind of appear it's probably a little bit behind so let's say around here so let's drag this keyframe back a few frames and we'll see it starts to appear as the sunlight comes across right and as this scene moves as it moves i want the lens flare to move and then i want it to uh, finish at a point so let's move towards the end of the, the video clip right towards the very last frame so just drag here all the way down to the very end and we'll add another keyframe here let's add another keyframe there and we can change the x and y position here for the keyframe so we can just um hold down our mouse button and drag across let's say to around you can move it basically up and down right so as and when you click on this box you can use the up and down to change the position so if we were to change it to roughly around Let's say it's starting off around here so we'll move it to around this side here and we'll bring it um, up slightly towards this sort of position like around here so if we were to scrub on our timeline again let's just see i don't think we added a keyframe there let's add the keyframe first so we want to add a keyframe and let's move back to this keyframe here let's you can click in fact you can click this arrow let's try and adjust the the position to this side here so in theory it should move now now you can see it's moving right you must add a keyframe at the end otherwise the lens flare won't move and you can either leave the lens flare there at towards the end or you can reduce its um, intensity so if you click these arrows these will move between the keyframes so we want to move to the very end one and reduce maybe its intensity maybe we'll bring it right down so as it's moving across this uh, video clip we'll see there's nothing here at the beginning then all of a sudden as the sunlight appears the lens flare appears and as the camera is moving uh, the lens flare will then degrade down to zero as it moves across we should actually set this right down to zero on this last keyframe all right so that's looking pretty good i quite like that lens flare i think the movement is right it works well with this scene 
and again you can adjust the type of uh, lens flare that you have here so you can select a different one we can go like sunburst and then as we drag across it will have a, a different type of transition you've got this sort of star effect right um, you can change the perspective you can change the blend you can change a lot of settings in here you can change the size as well so you can you can have it like, like a big uh, lens flare and it could shrink down in size and you can just experiment with these different types of lens flares here to see which one you prefer this one's quite nice as well i think so we can see that working now here with this particular one okay so that's how you go about adding a lens flare and also animating it most importantly because lens flares if the camera is moving you expect the lens flare to move as well if it was static scene then the lens flare might not move so much but because this camera is moving left to right i think it's wise that we move the lens flare with it as well let's go to file and save this let's minimize this and close this that's how you go about adding a lens flare and animating that lens flare uh, using magic's movie edit pro on a video clip i hope you find this tutorial useful and look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial